Times when he be speaking in cold words about crime and poverty, drugs, welfare, prisons, guns, and robbery. It really means us. There's no excuse for the slander, but what's good for the goose is still good for the game. On this Father's Day, we're out here to denounce, but also work in solidarity with everyone in the New York City area, working people and the poor who oppose stop and frisk that stopped over 600,000 young people, particularly black and Latino, 88% found innocent of any crime. Uh, we out here to support uh, and to give our solidarity to the family of Romali uh, Graham, who was shot down uh, by police. Uh, we're out here in support, say enough is enough, no more Trayvon Martins, no more of our young people being gunned down uh, by vigilante violence or police violence. But we're also out here to say that we need a system change. The way that we're living is not, uh, is not a, a, a indignity of any human being. Capitalism breeds racism, poverty, and war. We've seen that from the Iraq war. We've seen that with the, with the, the, the statistics of thousands of people unemployed, cannot find work. In our communities, over 20 to 30 percent of our young people are without jobs. They're without jobs with a living wage and union benefits. We see our trade unions being attacked brutally by the right wing and by big business. So we're out here saying enough is enough. We're going to stand up. We're going to fight back. We continue to organize in the, in the tradition of Malcolm X, of Dr. King, of the anti-Vietnam movement, of the women's movement, of the LGBT uh, rights movement. We're going to learn the lessons of all of our struggles to say that no more are we going to live uh, like animals, live in poverty, live in disgrace. We know who the real criminals are. The real criminals reside down in Wall Street. They're the CEOs and the shareholders from Citibank and Chase. They're the uh, ones who foreclose uh, working people, working families. Uh, so we need to stand up, we need to organize. This is a bigger movement than just stop and frisk. But let, let this be the, the first day of a sustaining mass movement that demands economic justice, social uplift, uh, and political independence from the two parties of big business, the Democrats and Republicans. We need our own political party. We can't trust the parties that support police violence. That's so I urge you, if you don't know anything about Socialist Alternative, check us out, socialistalternative.org, or check us out on socialistworld.net. It really means us. There's no excuse for the slander, but what's good for the goose is still good for the gander. See, I don't believe.